welcome back to 20 Minutes or Less. I'm Lee Newton, and that's Elliot Morgan, and here is the news. <laughs> lover knows that pets love car rides. Yeah. <laughs> Gilligan, my dog, loves to pop his tiny little face out of the window like a co-pilot that's navigating. It's like, don't worry, Dad, I'm on the lookout. <laughs> Dogs, right? Uh, it's funny. Well, an animal lover in Iowa took a car ride a little too far when he was arrested for drunk driving with his pet parrot and his pet zebra popped in the passenger seats. Well, uh, he should not have been drinking, but clearly Zumba the zebra and Peter the parrot wanted to go on a journey with him. And when they want to go on those rides, you know, and they give him that little face, and they're like, Dad, I'll take me with you. It's so hard to resist, you know? They're so cute. Police made the unusual arrest when a passerby saw the zebra and macaw kicking it in the car outside the doghouse lounge. The owner of the animals and the car, Gerald Reeder, said it wasn't his plan to leave his pets outside, because usually the owners let him bring in his zebra and parrot. But this time, they said no. No, because, you know, they were serving food. No, that's rude. Okay, just speaking from personal experience, Gilligan loves to come into Buffalo Wild Wings with me and clean out my spicy, sticky wing fingers. And we, sometimes we share a Hefeweizen. He always pushes for the milkshake. <laughs> Puppies. That's weird. You're weird. Milkshakes and hot wings are an excellent combo. And I said it before, and I'll say it again. You don't understand the bond that a man has with his animals. Clearly, but usually when a bar owner says that you can't bring your animals inside the bar, then you don't just leave them out there long enough for you to get a .14 blood alcohol level of drunk. No, okay, of course you don't. Well, that's what Reader did. The legal limit in Iowa is .08, and he drank enough to be .14, and then tried to take a circus on the road. Okay, Lee, has it ever occurred to you that maybe this guy's just misunderstood? Okay, maybe he's like a doctor. Dr. Doolittle, who was talking to his animals, and he, he was like, oh, guys, I'm sorry you can't come in. And they were like, hey, it's cool. We'll just chill out here in the car. He's just a total Dr. Doolittle. That's all he is. Yeah, oh, this is what that dude looks like. First of all, is this Iowa or Middle Earth? Dude looks like Gandalf. You definitely shouldn't be operating a car filled with non-magical animals like zebras and parrots. They're not going to know what happened when you when you use your staff to do fireworks everywhere. You're not Dr. Doolittle. Elliot, You're a Gandalf Elliot. imposter. I know Elliot. true. Elliot, zip it. Okay, buddy? Hey. Take it down a notch. I don't like them. So guys, what animal would you like to take on a joy ride? Let us know in the comments down below. And click the like button, subscribe if you have, and you can always click this here annotation bar or go to sourcefed.com to see our five daily stories or anything else we've ever done. And while you're down there telling us what kind of animal you'd like to go on a joy ride with, make sure you hop on over to Four Human Peoples where you could possibly, if you'd like to, maybe pick up a poster and we could sign them if you'd like. I'm Elliot Morgan. And I'm Lee Newton. He's an imposter. He's not, not the an real Gandalf.